tonight, a special Tuesday edition of 48 Hours. Correspondent Peter Van Sant reports new developments in the case of a wealthy Texas wife and mother arrested for murder. Peter's interview with Michelle Williams caused a dramatic reversal that blew this case against her wide open. Here's a preview. Greg treated me like a queen. He showed me a world that before him I had no means to have. 911, where is the emergency? Oh my God, I'm so, so <laughs> Michelle Williams told police an intruder broke into their home. Her husband, Greg, a brilliant and wealthy computer engineer, shot dead in the bedroom. I could see it, it was a male in dark stuff. Start After hours of interrogation, Michelle Williams changes her version of what happened. Greg had committed suicide, she reveals. She actually said, oh my God, Greg, Greg shot himself. Oh, I better make this look like a crime scene so Michaela won't think that her dad shot himself. If she's talking, she's usually lying, and I'm her sister. Investigators weren't buying either of Michelle's stories. They would learn about her squandering Greg's money and about Greg's life insurance. She was all about the money, the lifestyle. Michelle was the killer. Prosecutors were sure of it. But with no fingerprints, no DNA, it was a tough case to prove. They offered Michelle a plea deal, forcing her to accept responsibility for Greg's death and some prison time. I took the plea deal to be able to get back home to my daughter. Michelle accepted the plea, but just before the deal was to be finalized, Hello. she did an interview with 48 Hours. Did you murder your husband, Greg? No, I did not. Every time I watch a client in an interview, I start to think, oh man, we're really screwed. Because Michelle was now denying responsibility for Greg's death, the judge hauls her into court and withdraws the plea. Lady Justice may very well be blind, but she's neither deaf nor stupid. Michelle Williams was now facing life in prison, her own son taking the stand against her. Incredibly, she wanted him to frame Greg's ex-wife for the murder. Go to a payphone and call 911 and leave an anonymous tip. State is going to introduce videos of the show 48 Hours. Who shot Greg? I have my assumptions. We used the 48 Hours tape to demonstrate not only that she had changed her story yet again, she'd added the additional fact is not only was it an intruder, I think I know who the intruder was. And that was just beyond the pale. 48 hours strikes again, Peter Van Sant. So the deal's in place, why did she change it? Well, Michelle's kind of out there. Uh, she is very confident. She is certain that anytime there's a man in front of her, she can convince him of her story. And right in the middle of nowhere, she just goes, you know what, I've been wanting to say this for a year. It isn't what I told the authorities. There was an intruder, he didn't commit suicide, and we were off to the races. But there's more on this story, if I may add. In this special tonight, you will learn that Michelle Williams may have killed earlier. A similar circumstance in which she killed the, hus the uh, best friend of her husband and staged that like a suicide. So, oh, Good Lord. So, wow. Peter, what did you do to her to get her to open up that way? My goodness. We were just, we were just having a nice, comfy interview. You, know, you guys know what that's like when you really connect with someone. Yeah. They get very comfortable. Yes. She yes. was just comfortable. I kept pressing her on the facts, which seems so silly, and she changed her story. Wow, right. Thank you, Peter. That's Thank you, Peter. Peter. Yeah. You can watch Peter's full report. It's called Temptation in Texas on a special Tuesday edition of 48 Hours. That's tonight at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.